First tonight, the results are coming in from the Illinois primary. Good evening. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson with the presidential nominations virtually locked up. All eyes tonight are on one of the most hotly contested congressional races. The 12th congressional district covers a large swath of southern Illinois, including parts of Madison County, all of St. Clair, Monroe, and Jefferson counties. Republican Mike Bost has held the seat since 2015 and is seeking a sixth term just minutes ago. He declared victory over his GOP challenger, former state Senator Darren Bailey, who made a long shot bid for governor in 2022. Now, Bost or Darren Bailey will face the winner of tonight's Democrat primary in November. Right now, Carbondale attorney Brian Roberts has a substantial lead over Preston Nelson, a libertarian. Tonight, five on your side sent crews throughout southern Illinois to Jackson and Clay counties to cover the GOP race. Both candidates just addressed their supporters. Robert Townsend is with the Bailey campaign in Louisville, Illinois. But let's start tonight with Laura Barczewski, who's in Murfreesboro with the Boss campaign. Laura. Mike, he just got off the stage and he is very excited. He did declare victory and says he will be serving voters of Southern Illinois for the next couple years. As long as he makes that general election, he says he's confident that he will get those votes as well. And he believes in his um, his voters here in Southern Illinois. Now, family and friends have been piling in this little small town bar in Murfreesboro to support him. It's been a really good day of them all coming in and talking about how they support him so much. He served the 12th congressional district since 2015. And the way the votes split the district was very interesting. Boss getting the western part, his opponent Darren Bailey taking over the eastern side. And Boss says he wants to continue to focus on agriculture, health care, securing the border. In this race, he's had some pretty big endorsements, including former President Donald Trump and the NRA. He's even touted his experience in Washington as a selling point, and he wants to unite the people in Washington. We as Republicans across the Illinois 12th and across this nation as these different primaries play out have to unite, work together, because if we're going to turn this ship of state in the right direction, we have to take a larger majority in the House, we have to take the Senate, and we need a president to guide us from that Republican Party. Boss says he hopes that this will swing in the Republicans' favor during the general election, and he's really hoping this will pull out for him as he says he really wants to continue to serve Southern Illinois. Now let's send it over to Robert Townsend, who is up. at Darren Bailey's camp. Hey there, Laura. You know, Darren Bailey and his supporters had hoped to celebrate a big victory tonight, but just minutes ago, Bailey conceded to Mike Boss and he told this crowd, quote, we came up short tonight, but we will fight again in the future. Right now he is going around this crowd, hugging and shaking hands and thanking all of his supporters who supported him all evening. Darren Bailey, his wife, Cindy, their family and about 100 supporters actually gathered here at the Full Armor Christian Academy School for tonight's watch party. They tracked the primary race on their cell phones and on two big screens in this gym. But again, they came up short saying that they really wanted this, but the former state lawmaker and former said he was not deterred by not having a government job or the fact that former President Donald Trump did not endorse him in the primary race for Illinois' 12th congressional district. A confident Bailey told me this afternoon that had he won this race, securing the nation's border, creating more jobs for American workers, and tackling economic issues would have been his top priorities. You also remember in 2022, Bailey lost a bid for governor to Democratic incumbent J.B. Pritzker. Back here live, though, he is now again circling this crowd, shaking hands, hugging a lot of the kids here in this crowd, and we hope to get a live interview with him. If not, before this newscast is over, we'll definitely have it for you in the morning. Live in Louisville, I'm Robert Townsend, five on your side.